Say goodbye to your $13 a month subscription to Adobe Acrobat. Discover Sterling PDF, a free open source platform with all the tools you need to transform and create PDF. It has all the basic features, organize, merge, split, crop, resize, combine to more advanced such as adding a watermark, a password and signing a document. You can also convert images, files or even URLs into PDF. But the best part is that all those features can be used either from the platform or via API. Ideal if you are working on a project requiring document processing or PDF generation. To start using Sterling PDF, you can follow the installation guide on their GitHub repository or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To install Sterling PDF on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service. Search for Sterling PDF, select, choose between the different cloud provider, region and service plan. I will change to 2 CPU and 4 GB of RAM for a faster installation and then click on next. Adjust your level of support based on your need. I will keep the free included one and once you are ready, create service. When the installation process is finished, you receive an email. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on the administration dashboard from LSO. Click here to copy the password to your clipboard and access your instance with this link. To log in, we type admin as the username and paste the password from our clipboard, then sign in. We arrive on that good looking user interface with plenty of tools, different menu here, but let's start with the top right. We can adjust dark or light mode, change the language. If you are available, I will stay in English. You also have a search bar and what is good is if you type page, for example, it's not only looking with the title. So for example, we have page, it also gives me merge because you can merge different pages. And then you have the settings, but we will use them later. So the main thing about Sterling PDF is a lot of very useful tools. So on the top bar here, it's well organized. The first category is organized. You can compress, merge, split, and so on. Convert to PDF. So it's different process to generate PDF. And you have the opposite, convert PDF to different file formats. Then more advanced one, for example, sign and security to use the sign process like you would do in Adobe. But here it is entirely free. You can also add a watermark on top of your PDF and also automatically generate or remove password from an existing one. You have features to view and edit your PDF, for example, OCR to perform optical character recognition to automatically detect text inside your PDF and to convert it into real text. And a few more advanced ones such as pipeline that we will see later together, Reaper, adjust the colors, contrast, and a few others. Let's try some of them. For example, the most basic one is image to PDF. You choose a file, let's do it. I will choose Elestio logo, open. Then you can decide if you fill the page, fit page to image or maintain aspect ratio. I will choose this one. You can automatically rotate it, but we don't need it. Choose if it's color or black and white. And if you are using multiple files, decide if you convert to separate or the same PDF. Let's convert it. It successfully generated that PDF for me. But let's say I want to create a PDF for our communication kit at Elestio. So we have the logo. I will add another file. Let's add this background and the logo in a circle shape. I drag and drop them. So now we have three files here and I want to generate only one PDF. So merge into single PDF and then convert. And we now have our communication kit ready with the three files combined into one single PDF. Using the same principle, you have convert any file to PDF, a URL to PDF, an HTML file to PDF or a markdown. We'll talk again later about conversion, but let's see another nice feature, which is sign. Let's say we want to approve our communication kit, so let's upload the PDF we just created. It automatically opens a preview box here. You can choose on which page you want to sign. And then you have the different options to sign, either by uploading an image of your signature, so you can click on choose file and choose it, draw the signature with this box, or simply a text input. Let's say LSTO Tim, you choose the font, which is a blind selection because the preview here is not showing it. 
let's say, okay, I like this one, add. Then automatically on top of your file, it will add the signature. You can drag and drop to the place you want and adjust the size with the borders. Perfect. I'm okay with the signature of, of my file. Of course, it's not the best example, but you got it. And then download PDF. If we open it, we now have our signature on our file. I won't go to every tool, but you can have a look at the list and there is certainly the one that you need. Instead of paying Adobe or searching for one single online tool that do one of the operation, you have this complete suite that works for most of the use cases. Let's try the URL website to PDF. As an example, let's use this page from Wikipedia about open source software. Let's convert it and you have the Wikipedia page generated into a PDF file with selectable text with the images and the link that are preserved. Here we did the conversion manually by going to our Sterling PDF instance, going to URL to PDF and by doing the conversion. But the great benefit of having a Sterling PDF instance running is that all the tools available here are available as an API, which means in any of your project, you can use those tools programmatically in your backend and do those operations on your PDF file and generate PDF. To use the API, simply go to the settings on the top right and click on API. It's a Swagger documentation, so if you are familiar with it, you will feel it's very easy to use. You have the different categories, like you had with the different tools, filter, security, pipeline, misc, info, and so on, convert, the main one. But before calling any of them, we can try them here, we need to authorize our API call because not everyone is allowed to perform operation on your instance. And to do this, you need an API key. If you go back to the settings, you have account settings here. You can change your username, password, but you can also generate an API key. By default, you don't have one, so you can click here to generate one, copy it in your clipboard, and also hide it if you want, if you are recording a video like me. But no worries, I will kill the instance after the recording. Head back to the Swagger and paste the API key, then authorize. Now it will automatically add the header to your request and you will be authorized to perform operation. So let's click on close and try again the convert of the URL to PDF. So convert, it's the first one here. So you have the endpoint, it's your URL slash API slash V1 convert URL PDF. It's a post request. And to try it, we need an input. So it's a string. So let's click on try it out. URL input, the input URL to be converted to a PDF file. We paste our Wikipedia URL and execute. You can do it from your backend or even your front end based on your need. Then once it's done, it's the exact same result you had when you used it online. You can download the file and have your PDF generated. The huge benefit here is instead of installing not packages, any libraries to perform operations on PDF or to generate some, then you have this API ready out of the box that can speed up your development process. Let's go back to Sterling PDF and have a look at the different options here. So we have multi-tools. It is a handy editing tool, so you can choose a PDF. So I take the one that we generated from Wikipedia and you can decide to rotate all the pages at once, add multiple ones so you could combine PDF and then to add files anywhere you want rotate single pages, reorder those pages or delete them. Pretty convenient if you have PDF and you need to do some operation with them visually. Then you have this killer feature that is named pipeline. What it is, is you can create pipelines that will perform multiple operations from the different tools that you have. So let's say I will create a custom one. I would configure it. And let's say LSTO PDF process. So for every PDF that we create, we want to perform different operations. Let's say, for example, we want to add our watermark. So we have always the LSTO logo on top of it. So I would add this operation. I can edit the parameters. Then let's say I want after that to automatically add a password. So here, add password, add operation. So now you see we have add watermark and then after add password, I can say, okay, the password will be LSTO. Then once you are happy with it, you can save it 
then it will appear in your list of pipeline and you select a file and on that file you can run your process combining multiple tools. Unfortunately, it's not generating me a PDF but an error in text format. So I wonder if it's related with the fact that it is in beta or that my configuration is wrong. But because it is a platform overview and not a tutorial, I will skip it for now. Just know that there is this potential feature to combine multiple operations. And I wonder if you can call it from the API, which means instead of chaining API call to Sterling PDF, you would just call one of your pipeline to create multiple operations. Then the two last menu are Compress. Its name is pretty straightforward. It's to reduce the size of different PDF you can have, either by setting an optimization level or by entering the maximum size you want. And then a bit like we had with multi-tools, we have the split feature. The difference here is it's not visual. You type the pages you want and it will extract them for you. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Sterling PDF. If you find our content useful, please hit the like button to make it more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming platform overviews. To continue discovering great free tools, I recommend you watch this video available here.